Ophelia is a young, very beautiful girl, daughter of the concilier of the court Polonius and sister of Laertes. She loves the Prince Hamlet. Ophelia's main trait is obedience to her father, a characteristic that in the 16th century was essential for the reputation of young women. The girl, however, is divided between obedience to Polonius and love for Hamlet, and it will be precisely this division that will lead to a tragic epilogue for the young woman. This character has been important for many reasons. We know that there had been a lot of studies and theories about the healthy figure of Ophelia, from the scientific to the artistic point of view. She is the protagonist of many pieces of art and also to the book calling Reviving Ophelia, that became a symbol for adolescent girls who are drowning in the pressure of their day-to-day -day life. The title of the book is used as a symbol for what the author, Mary Piper, says happens to young women. In fact, as a girl, Ophelia is happy and free, but as adolescents, she has no inner direction. When she falls in love with Hamlet, she lives only for his approval. Then she is turned apart by her efforts to please, and she goes mad and drowns herself. Ophelia has established herself over the centuries as an unforgettable poetic figure, becoming one of the most investigated characters in the Shakespearean world. Shakespeare, in describing this character, does not focus only on the theme of madness, but also on the sadness and relentless pain that invests Ophelia. Historically, Ophelia's images have played an important role in building medical theories of insanity in young women. Psychology took an interest in the character. 19th century psychiatrists used Ophelia as a case study on a mental breakdown. The images of uh, photographs of Ophelia like Madman anticipated the fascination of the hysterism later studied by neurologist Sigmund Freud. A doctor called uh, Dr. Carr gave the name of this character also to his daughter's lymphoma illness, Ophelia's syndrome. This is a long-term disease which causes depression, suicidal thoughts and also daydreaming. But what links Carr's daughter to Ophelia? Maybe her innocence that becomes madness due to an external factor that is the lymphoma. Meanwhile, Ophelia goes crazy and kills herself owing to her madness caused by Hamlet. Ophelia's death was then explained by French philosopher Gaston Bacillard. Water is a symbol of feminine suicide, is the element of young and beautiful death, of blooming death, and in the dramas of life and literature, it is the element of death without pride or revenge. Ophelia, as we said, has been the protagonist of different pieces of art and paintings, mostly in the Victorian age. The most famous and most interesting one which represents her death is Ophelia, an incredible masterpiece by Sir John Everett Millet. Millet began the background in July 1851 at Ewell, Surrey. He painted with close observation of nature. The figure of Ophelia was added afterwards. The model was required to pose over a four months period in a bath full of water, kept warm by lamps underneath. The plants must have symbolic significance. The roses may allude to her brother Laerte calling her Rose of May. The willow, nettle and daisy are associated with love, pain and innocence. Nowadays, the Ophelia phenomenon, based on the main characteristics of this paint, induces teenagers to portray themselves immersed in eternal sleep or in ecstatic postures, in sublime semblances, adorned with impalpable gowns, and their bodies decorated with flowers in a graceful state. 
Often they locate to the place in which to stay to the passing away in their homes. The most preferred place is the bathtub or in woods, fields and dilapidated buildings. The actual historic era is characterized by a general narcissistic withdrawal, probably determined by an enormous perceptive pressure to which we are exposed never before as in this time. According to psychoanalysis, death is the symbolic representation of an experience of loss, absence and void. The virtual world makes the generalized solitude of a fragmented and narcissistic society such as today's even more lacerating. With regards to Ophelia, the modern social technology today gives more visuality to phenomena which have always existed. Nowadays it's enough to have a smartphone or a camera to share feelings, anxieties or aspirations. And women, like it or not, are the human beings that mostly feel incomplete and mutilated. Ophelia's Song by Luminers This song is named after the main female character of Shakespeare's Hamlet, Ophelia. The band is referring to their attitude before receiving wide acclaim. They searched for fame when they were young artists. Similarly, Ophelia is searching for Hamlet at the beginning of the play. Should have known better also correlates to Ophelia's situation, where she was warned about falling in love by her father and brother. Oh, Ophelia, you've been on my mind, girl, since the flood. The flood is referring to the flood of attention that the band received, but it is also an allusion to the fact that Ophelia drowns herself to death. The repetition insinuates the obsessive rumination of someone who's madly in love. O Ophelia before each line makes us think the luminaries are speaking to the spirit of Ophelia. The band understands their tragedy and has had their story on their minds because they relate to the heartbreak. Thank you.